Dr. Paul here with a very exciting study I want to tell you about dietary methanol and autism. One of my favorite books that I've read in the last few years is While Science Sleeps by Woodrow Monty. And it's an um, elegant, picture filled book that explains some very difficult biochemistry about methanol and how it's poisoning us and how it's probably related to many of the diseases of civilization. And when you say disease of civilization, you're diseases of civilization, you're talking about diseases that weren't there 200 years ago. Uh, some of them, I'm going to limit my comments here to autism, which as most of you know wasn't even named as an illness until the 1940s and really was extraordinarily rare, 1 in 10,000 until the 1980s when it just exploded and now is about 1 in 50 to 1 in 68 depending on the study. The study found that moms who had autistic children were consuming more than double the methanol of moms who did not have autistic children and this was at a high level of significance. The mechanism by which methanol does its damage in your brain is quite unique. It turns out all animals can tolerate huge doses of methanol. They have in their peroxisomes the ability with the enzyme catalase to break it down to formic acid and excrete it as water. It's just not a toxin for animals, but for humans, many of you might know methanol is wood alcohol and one ounce will kill you. One little ounce will kill a grown man. How come? Animals can drink huge amounts. We lack the enzyme catalase in the peroxisome. So for us, methanol, it's a tiny alcohol molecule, gets absorbed right into the body, goes everywhere, and in our brains, in our blood vessels, gets converted by ADH, alcohol dehydrogenase, into toxic formaldehyde. And that formaldehyde is such a toxin, it sticks to proteins, DNA, and then it just triggers our immune system and you've got inflammation, autoimmune disorders, and in this case, it's the explanation for why it could be causing autism. Because you've got an autoimmune response or your own body fighting the formaldehyde that's attached to cells in your brain, for example, and the Purkinje fibers. Uh, we know that autistic kids universally have brain inflammation from the Vargas study. So folks, Whatever you do, you have got to do everything in your power to get rid of methanol from your diet. Now, what are the major sources? This is important because a couple of these are going to surprise you. Diet soda. Now, it turns out, and I'm not advertising for anybody, but thankfully, Diet Pepsi is taking aspartame out of their diet drinks. So that will be a preferred one on my list if you're going to drink soda at all, which we probably shouldn't. Water's much better. But diet soda has the highest amount. Diet foods in general, read the label. If it's got aspartame, do not eat it no matter what. Unfortunately, some medications, those sweet ones we give to children, aspartame. And then the big surprise for most people is juice. It turns out methanol comes from the pectin that's in, in the plant material. So whether it's fruit or vegetables, if it's in a can or a jar and it's sitting on a shelf, it is releasing methanol. Oh, those lovely little patches of organic food that your kids are sucking out of. If it's been sitting on a shelf, they're just sucking methanol. And that's being converted to formaldehyde, which is causing horrible, horrible inflammation. And, it, and your child's immune system is actually attacking, attacking themselves. So stay away from those foods listed. As well, the other surprise source of methanol is smoking. And just think of it, wood alcohol. If anything that smolders is releasing methanol, so cigarettes, but smoking anything is a huge dose of methanol. I know a lot of this sounds complicated, but folks, take it upon yourselves to maybe listen again and just realize methanol and aspartame is basically the so a major source of methanol. is just horrible for our health. Do everything in your power to avoid it. And the sneaky source is jarred, canned, juices and vegetables, eat your produce fresh, second best frozen, avoid anything coming in a jar, a can, a pouch, and of course all the diet foods have just got to go. They are so much more dangerous to your health than you could ever have imagined. Forget the calories, it's killing you or possibly actually triggering autism and brain damage in your child. So parents, I challenge you, learn this, apply it, change your child's life. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.